Hey everybody, it's the Tebbits again, back with some more uh, Star Wars: The Old Republic. Today, as a second video, as a second video before I go back to uh, my day job, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just upload a quick Flashpoint run with one of my uh, Imperial side characters. Uh, this is Alcindra. She is a, uh, a uh, sorry, an Imperial agent. She is set up as a sniper, so she deals nothing but she is nothing but damage. Uh, from long range. She is not set up as a melee fighter. The sniper has almost no melee capability whatsoever. Uh, but yeah, I just thought this would be a nice little bonus. Um, just some additional content. I had some, some guild-related stuff that I had to do on uh, two of my uh, Sith Empire characters, so I just figured I'd go ahead and uh, do a quick flashpoint with her. Um, just, you know, for the heck of it. Current location is on the Imperial Fleet. I actually, what's funny is I am level 42 with this character, so I'm almost halfway through, actually I'm more than halfway through the leveling process, uh, and I have not done, other than the starter planet quests, I have not done a single thing with her other than run flashpoints. So you can see here I'm on the Imperial Fleet, and this is a... Oh, backed up too far. Uh, I, I, I like this little armor getup that I've got on because of the flashy lights. Uh, they're, like the, the There's energy pulses through the cables on the side. The visor has the nice little thing that goes by. Uh, the lights on the chest light up, the shoulders, the wrists and ankles, and even, all, even down the sides of the legs. I just think it looks kind of cool. Um... So I'm going to go ahead and queue with her into uh, into some flashpoints, see what I can get into. Is here, veteran flashpoints. I have hammer station unchecked, but even if it's that that just means it's not preferred. I can still get in there if need if if that's the only one that everybody is getting into. Um, which I mean, it's no big deal. I just I uncheck hammer station because it gets run so often. Um, because it's the first veteran flashpoint that a lot of people get access that everybody gets access to, so when 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 newer players start running veteran flashpoints, they inevitably pull a group into Hammer Station. Again, no big deal. The rewards are still the same. Um, it's just you know, so it's it's just as beneficial to run Hammer Station as to not. So if I get into it, I get into it. The only one that I'm really hoping that I don't is Katamemu. I have a really big problem with Katamemu. I can't ever make the... There are some specific jumps that I can never seem to make, and the last time I did it, I ended up actually rage quitting. Um, but yeah, so let me go ahead and join the queue. Might take a minute or two to get in. You can see... Okay. Looks like everybody is going to be damaged, which is fine. Oh, somebody denied. <laughs> oh, we're going to the foundry. The foundry's kind of fun. It's a follow-on flashpoint to another, to, to one where you actually take over a Republic um, frigate. And you use that frigate to then to infiltrate the foundry. Um, there's some spoilers to this, so I won't I won't go too far into it. But there are some pretty major characters involved and in, uh, that are involved with with the, with the storyline here in the foundry. Go ahead and get some stims. Pop one. going the right way. I am not going the right way. No, I am going the right way. I think. Maybe not. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> okay, I'm going to minimize the chat window. Here we are. Okay, <laughs> the main uh, the the bridge. Uh, 
Elmsman, set course for the foundry. Acknowledged. Laying in course. Any words to the crew before the assault? I'm a nice person, so I will try to be encouraging. I'm not Imperial, I'm not your captain, but I have a job to do, and you're going to help. Course set. Engaging hyperdrive. Looks like we got a couple of mandos with us. Transmitting authorization codes to the Republic fleet. They're allowing us to pass the blockade. Approaching the foundry. Receiving transmission. This is landing control to Republic cruiser Doran Sky. You're six hours off schedule. Is there a problem? We had to adjust course to avoid an Imperial patrol. Nothing to be concerned about. It's an interesting armor set. Understood. You have permission to dock. You can wait aboard the ship while we run the final security checks. Time to rock and roll. We're docked. Estimate two minutes until our fleet arrives and the battle begins. If I may be so bold, I suggest you take the offensive. I wish I had those boot jets. I don't. I, I've never been able to figure out what um, what I need to purchase in order to actually get get those. Long range attacks. There's not going to be a lot of commentary on this. Um, I'll do some, but not. Like that, that that ability that they use their main. It's like my one uh, my one melee skill. <laughs> Other than that, I have none. Let's get some cover. Fire. And I have somehow pulled threat from this guy, which is fine. We're just going to go a run through the foundry. The foundry is actually kind of a long, uh, long flashpoint, and it gets even longer if you do the, the side quest stuff. Might be why we're not doing it. But it's, it's just, it's these things here are part of it, ancient foundry technology. I don't wanna be there. <laughs> if I'm too close if I'm too close there, it'll pull the big giant droid. Which may end up actually suddenly happening anyway. Yep. Alright. Okay. <laughs> I've stayed where I was. One of these days I'll get better about keeping what I'm shooting at in frame. <laughs> Sometimes I can't seem to do that. Just out. I didn't put my uh, my AOE down right. Some of them just outside it. 
That, I love that suppressive fire ability. It just, it does so much to make it, make it a little bit easier to, to run, to do certain things. Yeah, for some reason it doesn't want to let me get into cover. It's fine. I'm not using my abilities to their, to their best right now. The Republic fleet is holding steady. All right, so we have a, the this is the a mid boss. There's usually two. Now what I like about playing as the sniper is I can stay far enough away that some of the uh, some of the the boss abilities uh, won't hit me. That looks like we're all actually ranged attackers, so that's good. He's the target. goes. I already have that knife. That's one of the some sometimes that can be a bit a, a bit frustrating. You get the same gear over and over and over and over again and I'm just trying to get better stuff. Stop. It's time we talked. I am the master of the foundry. Once the Emperor's prisoner, now the man you've come to destroy. I'm listening. Continue. Three hundred years ago, I found your empire in the stars and stood against the Emperor himself. I was betrayed, defeated. I paid the price as the Emperor ravaged my mind over centuries. But I gave him nothing. I am proof that the dark side can be resisted. I'm a bounty hunter. Dark and light aren't worth much in my business. This isn't just about Jedi and Sith. I've seen the Emperor's corruption. He and everything he's built must be destroyed, or the galaxy will suffer forever. You don't need to die with him. Surrender, and you can wait out this war as comfortable prisoners. Life as a prisoner wasn't good enough for you? You really think I'm going to give up? I hoped. You leave me no choice but to turn the Foundry against you. These machines are extermination droids. My infinite army. Farewell. Now, I've run this flashpoint quite a few times. I know exactly who that is, but I'm not going to... Uh, in case you've never seen this, I'm not going to tell you who it is. Imperative. Extermination units converge on intruders. Psychological and observer specialties report to tactical control. That should give you a hint, though. <laughs> Looks like we pulled everything. I like that that voice is just a dead giveaway as to what character that is. And using the term meatbag. Okay, 
pass some of these. We don't want to get too close. Oh, it looks like we pulled it. <laughs> pulled this whole group. That might have been my fault. I might have gotten a little too close. I don't know. I couldn't tell you who. Not that it really matters anyway, not trying to fast play for who got a single fight, because it just, it happened. In fact, this is the second video I'm recording today, because the first one, uh, something strange happened, and I dropped a big old F-bomb right in the middle of recording. And I'm trying not to do that. Like, I have, I, I, I curse like a sailor in my daily life. And I'm trying not to do that on my YouTube videos, just because, you, can, you know, in case any kids are watching, or, you know, you're watching this in, in, like, you know, an area where, you know, that might not be the best language to use. <laughs> I don't want to just... I'm trying to be considerate, I guess, is what I'm saying. My master promised you would die horribly at my hands. At this rate. You'll perish well before then. I mean, he says that, but we're... Kill him, but take him names throughout the entire... Oh, I think I might have Oh, no, okay, I got it. I thought I put that down in the wrong spot. It's, it's funny, we're... I think we're all ranged classes. I don't. I don't think there's a single one of us that's. Oh no. Okay. So there's a, there's a sorcerer with us, but she's not doing all the Sithy things. That's a. Oh. The, the Sith Sorcerer is a ranged class, actually, and they're actually quite powerful at it to be going. Assessment. You have been exceedingly sporting during our hunt. Everybody's favorite murder droid. I am HK-47, the Master's most faithful ally, once a mere assassin droid. It is now my burden and joy to command the Foundry's mechanical armies. He was probably my favorite character in Nice the Old Republic 1 and 2. I didn't think Jedi believed in assassination. Or built droids to do their dirty work. Commentary. I am often pleasantly surprised by my master's moral compass. The extermination droids are my master's crowning achievement. They are equipped with bioscanners capable of detecting Sith genetic material. Any organics with Sith ancestry will be slaughtered. This includes 97.8% of the Imperial population. Looks like Too I'm bad a... my species doesn't have any Sith genetic material. Commentary. Unfortunately for you, the Master still wants you dead. Your bones will make excellent trophies to commemorate my return to assassination. figure out who the master is yet. Hi, HK-47. Prejudice set to maximum. Commentary. I hope my master will appreciate my efforts here. Uh-oh, I pulled the out. Kind of measures. Retraction. You're not entirely unskilled after all. Activating assassination protocols level two. Extermination units converge. a little bit. <laughs> That's fine. So 
we have the brakies, four locks on the sides. With four of us, it happened rather quickly. down the cover smoke. It's going to do a whole lot because he's a boss fight. Extermination units, converge. Got him. If we don't break him out of this, he actually ends up healing. There he goes. I remember I got what I when I the first time I ever played this flashpoint after uh, when it was added into the game. I when he popped up, I probably I don't know. It was like it was just it was such. Uh, such a, a, a cool moment like I probably made a sound that I couldn't re that I couldn't replicate now if I even wanted to like there there's you know at least at least once a year I still um, quote his his love quote from Knights of the Old Republic 2. It's just, it was just so funny. There's an optional boss out here, and I wonder if we're gonna do it. People are healing up like they want to do it, but we've also got a couple of little tiny mobs to deal with as well. Oop! Somebody left. cruisers have been destroyed, but they're not retreating. I think are we skipping it? I can't tell if we're skipping it or not. I think we're skipping it. You may, you have to you have to take down these uh, these Can you hear us? They use the foundry's weapon system to hold back and our then, fleet. You um, need to take control. There's a, a giant like core slug kind of creature that comes out. Uh-oh.
We've got droids attacking the ship. Oh. We can't maintain a comm channel. <laughs> I forgot if you run fast enough, you can bypass those guys. And I, I didn't know if I had, if I had gotten through it. Oh, I don't, don't trigger them. Okay, I didn't know if I had gotten through, uh, through there in time. <laughs> And again, there's another spot. You just run. Just run. And you bypass them. Because they're running out to meet you, and if you don't stop... I did enough, jab, enough damage to that Jedi that he did not like that I hit him like that. Come on, get up. Ah. Ah. That, I think, was my fault. Alright, we're coming up on the final fight. Go ahead and get myself all situated. Here was the big surprise when this That HK was... unit you destroyed. You waited loyally for 300 years. I can rebuild it, but it won't be the same. Can't you see you're on the wrong side? The Emperor is death. For you, for me, for the galaxy. Listen to yourself. If you use the foundry to exterminate billions, how are you any better? I'm doing this to save lives, not for glory. I will mourn for the dead and do what I must. As a young Jedi, I went to war. I accepted violence and darkness, and the Emperor called to me from across the galaxy. He made me a Sith Lord and named me Darth Revan. I killed for him. I turned on the Republic. But I have found redemption. Enough of your yammering. Die. <laughs> When, 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 I, this again, when he dropped as the final boss for this was just, it, it, it brought so much, like, epicness, I think, is where, is where I'm going for on this, like, Revan's character, in, there, there was more that was done with him through the expanded universe, um, like he he was fleshed out beyond just the video games and like the story of what happened to him went that leading up to this um, was really good. He's just he's just saying you can't stop me kind of stuff. Outside of your area of effect, why am I still getting hit by your lightning bolts? Never fought anyone like me. I was Sith. I am Jedi. <laughs>
my reward. There we are. <laughs> I was trying to claim my rewards there, and it wouldn't let me. This is station control of the Imperial fleet. The foundry is ours. Excellent work, all of you. We lost good men in the fleet battle, but we're mopping up the last of the Republic ships now. I assume the Jedi Master has also been eliminated. That Jedi Master used to be a Sith called Darth Revan. Yes. That's a matter we should discuss in person. As soon as we're secure, we'll conference with Darth Revan to support the flagship. <laughs> but my congratulations and my admiration. Fenia out. Now, that character's name, Moff Fenir, um, again in Legends, there was a character who was, his name was Tur Fenir, and he was an Imperial from post Endor. Um, you know, I remember, I remember when I first ran across this, I remember wondering if they were, if it was the same family, like, dating back thousands of years, which would have been cool. Uh, not unheard of in Star Wars. It could also just be, you know, one of, the, one of those things where it's like a common last name. Um, but I just thought, like, it was like a little, it was like a little thing. Like, there were all these little nods every once in a while to different, um, different storylines. Alright, so let's go down here real quick. I'm gonna... Repair my, repair my stuff. Let's actually do this so that I have room. That, yeah, that's going to be 200,000, so I'm not going to be able to afford to do that. Thank you for your patronage. Okay, I've got a couple of companion gifts. Crafting materials. Crafting materials. Decorations for my stronghold that I have yet to actually do anything with. Uh, don't want to use that quite yet. I think that gives me a new follower, but I don't necessarily want to do anything with that yet. Here to browse our inventory. Good chunk of credits right there. Thank you for your patronage. That's actually better than almost everything that I've got. Let's see. 72, 110, 110, 110. Alright, so I want both of those at maximum. 110 is my highest rating right now for gear, which is... I can't use that yet. Alright, so I need two more levels before I can use um, these 140 uh, rating gear. Uh, but I am not going to. I accept I am not going to torture currency. you guys with leveling. Uh, let's just go ahead and take care of that. that. But yeah, that was um, that was the foundry. That was the fight against a. Reborn Revan. Uh, I again, I remember. You know, it was just it was so cool when he um, when he popped in, and then there's follow-on content now um, that still deals with like the aftermath of of Revan, uh, which it's just it's it th the story for this game in certain aspects is just phenomenal. Um, but yeah, that's that's I I already did uh, I already did a run with my other. Um, Sith Empire character, my Sith Assassin. Uh, unfortunately, I, like I, like I said, as we were in the middle of that one, I rather obviously uh, cursed <laughs> halfway through the recording, so I didn't want to use that one as my upload to YouTube. Uh, so I will go ahead and get Alcindra's run through the Foundry up. Uh, I hope you liked it. If you did, uh, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And leave a comment if you want. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll be on again within the next couple of days to continue 
um, Farseer's story on, on Tython. We're coming to the end of his time on Tython, uh, so it's going to be not too much longer until I am getting my own lightsaber and continuing on. Uh, usually, the, the reason I'm kind of assuming that anyway, because the reason you usually get away from the starter planet of right around level 10, um, and I, uh, you can see here he's currently level 9. Um, so somewhere within the next couple, there, there's a little bit of the story left there on Tython for him. Um, if you like the Flashpoint stuff, I can go ahead and do some more with either Alcindra or Kaliala. Um, or even, you know, and then, and then of course, once I start getting uh, Farseer to the point where I can actually do some stuff with him, uh, I, will, I will at least run them uh, sto in story mode. Um, so, you guys can see, so you guys can see them as I go through them. Uh, but yeah, again, uh, that's it for, that's it for today. This is the second video and, uh, yeah, I will talk to you guys all in a couple of days, hopefully. Have a good one.